Welcome everybody to What's Your Bacon? Yes! In seven questions. Bing, bing. The show where we have lovingly distilled the meaning of life. Nay. The meaning of happiness. Nay. The meaning of all that is good in this world. Yeah. Down to just seven questions. Today, today we have the lead singer of the band Happy Days, a band that is described as music that belongs at the skate park, a house party, and running to catch the metro all at the same time. Celebrating the release of the new EP, Full Free Radical, which is available now yep. on Thriller Records and on all streaming services. Definitely check them out. Seven singles, seven videos, seven songs. Yeah, holy, check them all out. Holy Thriller. From, right, man. I'm, I'm never going to say it right, but Edinburgh. That was it, man. That was it. Nice. I've never heard, I've, I, straight off the bat, it's usually Edinburgh, Edinburgh, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, that was right. class. All class. right. Sweet. Yes. I'm going to hack it up. <laughs> Don't worry. We have Luke. How you doing, man? What's going on? I'm good, man. Great to be with you. Uh, so, uh, are are you ready? Because like we want we want our consumers of Bacon is my podcast to really get to know your nooks, the nooks and crannies of your English muffin, the yes. double stuff of your Oreo, indeed, the <laughs> creamy center of your Twinkie. Are you ready right. for us to uncover I, that? I don't know. We're going to get into the middle of your moon pie, my friend. Let's (laughs) find out. (laughs) All right. Here we go. Uh, We will let everybody know that um, uh, through through your own uh, charity and grace, you have joined us at midnight your time. So thank you so much again for for that. I I thank you, but I also want to let our listeners know, yo, this dude's jumping on. Yeah. (laughs) Late night, jumping on this show. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, So question number one. Luke, how many pillows are too many? Too many. Too many. For, for just chilling, there's there's no amount that's too many. <laughs> for, for, for sleeping, three is too many. Two is two is optimum. Any more, you're going to hurt yourself. All right. I, I, I like that answer. I like I that really too. Do. You run a chance of smothering with more than with more than two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Actually, you run a smothering. chance of really hurting your neck. Yeah, Dang, that too. Yeah, you know? That's true. Good. That's true. Although... Fun fact about the quadriplegics, right? Yeah, uh, uh, paraplegic. Paraplegic. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, requires no more than five, uh, as as I found out by googling it, which you know everything online is absolutely true. Yes. <laughs> All right, Luke. Question number two: What is the perfect pizza order? I'm really looking forward to this answer, by the way. Interesting. Uh, I uh, I like I like a mixture of veggies and meat. I would say. I love mushrooms. If I could have one topping on a pizza, it would be mushrooms. If I could have two toppings, it would be mushrooms and like either smoked sausage or pepperoni or something like that. You know, smoked the balance of sausage. Yeah, yeah, it's I good stuff. I've never had smoked sausage. That's not, that, that, that's it's impossible. good stuff. It's yeah. good stuff. I, I want to try it. I'm in. I'm in. I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Question number three. True or false question on this one. Okay. True or false. Cereal is a soup. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> false. I think a soup must have a vegetable in it. Must have a vegetable. At, least, that answer, at least at least one. That's just that's where my, my brain logically goes. You're catching me at midnight, so I can only think on my I can only think on my feet. Right, right. Now that's I have had, I come I've to. had noodle soup that does not have an that it's not had sure. a But the broth the broth will have had vegetables touching it at some point or another. That's true. That mm. is a, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm. I mean, we could be sw- swayed either way. Yeah, definitely. I but... could definitely, yeah. I, I hold no allegiance. Yeah, yeah. All right. Question number four, gift cards. Lame gift idea or great gift idea? Depends what it's for. Like, imagine being given an iTunes gift card now. What would, <laughs> right. what would, you, do, what would you do with that? You'd buy, like, you could buy like credits for games and stuff, though. That would be pretty good. Like if you're into that sort of thing, I like a game right. called Bra- Brawl Stars, but I've never spent real money on it. But every now and again, you know, you're like, oh, I could. You know, so it's only three pounds. I could just chuck it in, and then I would, <laughs> I'd get like double the amount of shit, you know. But now nah, right, I'm right. not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But now, like, now nah, I would say, um, like an Amazon gift card. Yeah, that's class. Sure, yeah. love yeah. it. Yeah, excellent. I mean, we talk about like being musicians too. Right. It's like you don't want to, you, you don't want someone else picking out your guitar strap or, uh, you know, like. Or your well, or, or pedal for you. Uh, yeah, it, it depends. I mean, like, 
Yeah, I've got like I've been gifted like a police line do not cross guitar strap before. We were just saying like, the one we caution tape up. one. Yeah. yeah. I, am, I am I am legit waiting. I'm waiting for us to have that band, that band member that actually actively uses it right. on He's stage. Like, you mean this? And 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 just like have total foot and mouth syndrome. Right. I'm just right. Uh, interviewing. I, th- I think that, I think that the guy that can wear that strap has to be like absolutely jacked, covered in tattoos, handlebar mustache. And like aviators permanently, so like on yeah. his face. Ooh. Yeah, that's the guy that's playing that strap. Absolutely. Yeah. BC Rich Warlock, pointy guitar. You know, spiky, right. yes. dangerous right. guitar. Yeah, yeah. Lifting gloves on. So you're like, <laughs> yeah, why yeah, is yeah. your why while, are you wearing padded while, gloves? You guys, while, you guys while shredding. While shredding, yeah. Exactly. I, I feel like you're. Full you're fingers uh, as well. <laughs> <He's not laughs> exactly. What you're describing is like is like Andy from Every Time I Die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's who I yeah. see. That is literally yeah. who I see. That's who there I it see. Is. Yes, there it is. <laughs> also known as the, the also butcher. Known as the butcher, indeed. Mm. Man, All a right. few years ago, in, in my old band, we played at Slandong Festival at the same time that like, they, they were playing. Well, not at the same time, but like on, they were playing it that year. And there was a thunderstorm above the tent that they were playing, and you could see it from merch, like this, like they were playing, and just this, like, like lightning just going fucking crazy above them. Oh man! You could just see all of them rocking. It was <laughs> the most metal thing I've ever seen in my life. That's incredible. That's awesome. It's so yeah. awesome. Just waiting for it. Like at some point, they're pulling the plug on this. So let's just go balls out. While yeah, we're exactly. <laughs> it was crazy. Exactly. Nice. All right. Question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? Whoa, seven. Hmm. Incorrect. <laughs> Question number six: What is your go-to <laughs> jukebox pick? Um, hmm. Again, it depends on the mood. Like right now, if I was to go up and like put a song on, I would put um, "The Summoning" by Sleep Token on, just because I can't get yeah. enough of that. But if I was like, right, I'm amongst I'm amongst other people who don't share the same tastes, what would I put on right now? I'd probably just put on. Uh, that's 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 the question that every time I get asked that I never know because I never know what to listen to, right. so I end up just not listening to anything. I'll chuck on a playlist. I can never decide. The problem with <laughs> too much too much choice. The problem with having the choice of anything is that you don't know what out of the anything you want. You know, option what I mean? paralysis, sure. man. Option yeah, yeah. paralysis is a real I, thing. I, I suffer from that big time, big time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too, hundred percent. I do think I do think like Sleep Token though. I think they've got enough stuff going on that. It can probably, you, yeah, you won't yeah. necessarily, you won't necessarily like scare a crowd away. You won't offend anybody. You won't yeah, offend yeah. anybody, but then I there's parts that, that you're like, oh, this fucking slaps, and you'll make some metal friends there. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got like the weird R and B bits that are coming out of nowhere, and you're just like, wow. Where yeah. Did, where did this happen? And right. is this still the same song? And has it been on for this this amount of time? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> It's nice. amazing. Nice. I like it. All right. We are here. We're at question number seven. Yeah. All right. The important part of question seven is depending on how you answer it and how we enjoy your answer, you could be eligible for a bonus question. Whoa, I know. Okay. I know. I know. It's exciting. Try and hold back. Don't get too excited. We've had... Not everybody gets it. I mean, how many people have missed it? Uh, so out of... Well over 150 guests, uh, zero. Nobody's missed it, so you'd be the first. So no pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. All right, question number seven. Luke, how do you feel about garden gnomes? I am personally indifferent about this, but I have a story about this. Perfect. So... I apparently, th- this is this is not someone I knew, but I got told this story when I was younger by a member of my family's ex-boyfriend. And we got on really well. And this story, I would never forget. As soon as you said it, it was the first thing that came into my mind. Nice. This guy had a phobia of garden gnomes and they fucking hated this guy. So one night they drove around all of their town in the west side of Scotland, growling all the garden gnomes and just lined them up in, the gar- in his front garden. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently he woke up and like phoned the police and all that, and the police were like, "We're not fucking doing anything about that." <laughs> that is amazing. And then uh, apparently it was literally like twenty bin bags of garden gnomes, like having to be taken to a skip. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. That's I, like, awesome. I think I think they're cool, man. 
but that's what I think of any time someone says garden gnomes. Now. I love it. Speaking yeah. of speaking of that, we've been trying to uh, anybody that's on the show that's in a band that goes on tour. We try and get them to uh, as a as a nice as a fun little you know innocent tour prank. It's a it's a good way to find out how your tour tour mates feel about garden gnomes. Get them and hide them around the other band's gear, in the other mm-hmm. band's stuff. <laughs> So they just open up. And then you can find out there's some hidden phobias. Yeah, you yeah. find out real yeah. quick. You find out real quick how they feel about a garden. Just maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> in in their rack somewhere. Right. Yeah. On stage. Mm. Right I, by a pedal I, board. I, 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 I gotta say, I feel, I feel bad about how excited I am about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> please you send, shouldn't. Please send pictures. <laughs> pictures are a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%, 100%. We've got. We've got. A, we've we've had it happen to a couple people already, and then we've we've mm-hmm. done it to a couple people yeah. as well. So yeah. Uh, so it's, I'm pretty it's sure like spreading. I've already imagined because nah, I would have to do it this week. I might put one. I might put one in the kick drum, and then just see. Let's just nice. see. Just see how it goes. Let's see how Pete feels. Let's see how Pete feels with garden gnomes. Just when yeah, he sits like down that. and looks, it's just looking at him. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how hard is. We'll see how hard he's hitting the kick. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do that. I'll get you that picture. I promise. That's Love fantastic. It. Love it. <laughs> Love it. All right, Luke. Well, for that alone. For that alone, you, that alone. you get the bonus question. Yeah, hundred percent. You absolutely get the bonus question. <laughs> Uh, we've had a lot of fun so far, but this is where we let's, get down to brass. Let's stop. Let's we're, stop we're gonna, fun. Yeah, all the fun stops right now. <laughs> we're going to get down to brass tacks here. And as we know, only good tacks are made of brass. Yeah. <laughs> it's a multiple choice question for you. And that multiple choice question is this. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Is it a main course? Um, it's uh, it's a topping. It's a okay. topping. I don't think the only time I've had bacon on its own, seriously, just been like, I need to take some bacon. It's when I I just I was vegetarian for three hundred and sixty five days. Okay. And I worked beside this little roll shop, and I got on really well with the woman who ran this roll shop. A roll is like you know, like a sandwich, breakfast rolls and stuff. Okay. So we call so we call them in Scotland. Like, and then um, we, uh, for a year, I was ordering like scrambled egg rolls after getting like, ha- you know, like haggis and bacon right, and right. sausage rolls. And then I walked in, I was like, Jan, I'm going to need a sliced sausage and bacon roll. And she was like, really? And she just turned around and picked up a bit of bacon that was cooking. She was like, eat that in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, uh, I love your story. I, I, I love that there's an answer behind your uh, <laughs> but you don't respect story. the answer <laughs> uh the the answer is incorrect the the correct answer we were, that we were looking for is all of the, all above. the above it can be anything all of the above. i was gonna i was gonna say that but i thought like you know that's that's a cop out commit commit <laughs> oh that's i mean that's committing yeah we're a, we're, a, yeah. we're a, we, we commit to bacon out, bro it's midnight show. it's midnight I've got <laughs> yeah <laughs> understood 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 so before we head out here uh we just want everybody to know where they can check out everything Happy Days, including the brand new record. You want me to say that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all the socials, everywhere they can find everything. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all the like, you know, everywhere where you can listen to music. We've uh, we've done a bunch of music videos for this record ourselves, which has been really, really uh, creatively fulfilling. Um, we've uh, we've worked with some really, really cool guys doing some animation stuff in another video. It's just yeah, the the creation of all the record has been so fun and to see all the pieces of it together like out in the world is amazing. So if you like anything pop punk, sort of nostalgic rock, if you like electronic music, if you like the big big riffs, if you like chill little nice riffs, then uh <laughs> yeah, go check it out. Feel free radical, happy days, one word, D A Z E, the most difficult way to be able to spell your band name. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is it is an awesome ep uh everybody definitely check yeah. it out and definitely definitely uh go check out the videos as well um, yes because the videos are all really cool uh and uh and there's definitely been some some work put into everything so uh, for sure appreciate it check it out and follow the band um before we let you go i like to ask a question and i will ask this question twice i'll ask it once here and then once again at the end of our uh our full chat uh that we have in a little bit and that question is this. 
we we talk about bacon, but we're not talking about the food. We're talking about how it can make any it it enhances whatever you put it on, right? Mm. So uh, we like to do that as a metaphor with life. Uh, there's a lot of negativity out there, so we like to look at what is that thing that enhances your life, that thing that enhances your day, that 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 part of you that that you reach for, that extra thing that makes everything a little bit better, makes everything easier. Maybe it's, uh, maybe some, for some people it's comic books, for some people it's video games, some people it's music, some people it's uh, hiking, pro wrestling, the paranormal, whatever it is, whatever you're into, that's, that's just that thing that makes you happy no matter what. So, I'll ask you once now and then we'll ask you after we talk to you a little bit more, but Luke, what would you say right now, what's your bacon? My bacon, my bacon is just creating, man. I love being able to, sit down with the guitar and write a song. I love being able to pick up a camera and go out and make videos with my mates and like have the trust of the guys that work in the band when I come in and like, let's go do something like this. And they're like, yeah, let's go, let's go try it. Nice. And uh, it's been going really well for the past couple of years of just like having fun with that creativity and like spending our time while literally doing, not being able to do anything else for two years when we first started doing this and then getting out into the world because of that creativity and then yeah, it's just it's, it's always been the escape. It's been the thing that gives you purpose. Nice, awesome, awesome. Uh, everybody that's listening, once again, definitely check out the band and come back in a couple days and check out the full chat that we have with Luke. We talk about happy days. We're going to talk about the videos. We're going to talk about whatever we end up talking about. Who knows? We go on a lot of tangents on the show, but remember okay. to ask yourselves. <laughs> Every day when you wake up, what is that thing that makes your day better? What is that thing that brings a little light into your life? What is that thing that makes everything taste nicer, feel better, be a little bit more gooder? Yeah. Right? However you want to say it. What's your bacon?